first, you know, ha last half hour, we told you about the brick mason who helped build downtown Sevierville, but there is another gentleman who also helped build the city in a different way. 10 News reporter Lauren Davis has more about the woodwork of Lewis Buckner. He was a house builder, cabinet maker, furniture maker. He could do almost anything that he desired with wood. Lewis Buckner was born into slavery in 1856 and was freed after the Civil War. He was an uneducated man as far as schooling and that type thing. With no formal education, Buckner was drawn to carpentry, implementing the trees he found around Sevierville into his work. Mostly walnut. He had some work in uh, poplar, some work in pine and oak. Never went to idle, Buckner began his own furniture making business by the late 19th century and developed his own unique style based in the Victorian with intricate borders and flowers. His furniture speaks pretty highly of the type man that he was in his field of work. Throughout Sevier County, there are upwards of 15 structures that are believed to be built by Buckner, two of which are in the National Register of Historic Places, the Riley H. Andes and Trotter Waters Houses. It's a God-given talent that they have. He had to be a man of, of much patience to create what he did with wood. Lewis Buckner was buried in the community he helped build. We don't know what he looked like. We only know him through the work he did with his hands. He's quite noted uh, throughout Sevier County uh, for his work. He's become uh, very much appreciated now. And Buckner's Riley H. Andy's house is now home to the gallery of Smoky Mountain artist Robert A. Tino.